What's up lads, Fuji here and I walk you back to another episode of Pack to Power. Today we're going to actually start this off differently and just to bear in mind this series comes out every single day Monday to Friday but not on the weekend so Monday to Friday, keep that in mind. Uh, but yeah, like I said I'm going to start it off differently but before we start if you're looking for coins, Foot Coin King is your place, links we found in the description. Make sure to go use my code Fuji5lads, very very cheap coins and uh, with that code you'll get yourself some nice discount. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to go through uh, each and individual squad to see how close we are to completing those full teams. That was actually requested, so we're going to do that at the start of this video and then move into one game uh, today in this episode. But uh, this is the sort of squad that I've actually built um, just, just to play with. This is going to be the game, uh, the team that we actually use to play with in uh, today's game. We've got Messi, we've got Benzema, we've got the uh, team of the year, Nua, uh, Bamba Nua, that we actually did uh, upgrade from the last episode. But talking about the last episode, we have got two packs to open, so let's go and open those and then build the teams. Here we go. All right, so let's open those two packs from the last episode, and we're going to start off with the first one. So fingers crossed, we can maybe even get uh, a player that we've already got so we can upgrade to his informed version. So as we can see uh, in this one, we have Lumic Remy. Uh, we've already got him, but he doesn't actually have an inform, so unfortunately we can't do anything with that one. Uh, Matt McKay, we have already packed him earlier in the series. Vida, uh, I'm not sure if he's on the game. Then we have Holly Bass as well, the left back, who's very fast. We've also got him. Uh, Valencia, we've also got him as well, so we're getting loads of duplicates. Ah. Alright, so let's get the second pack opened. Uh, hopefully, we don't get too many duplicates and we can get some people that we can bring into the side. So let's open this one, and as we can see from here, is that, that is Varela. That's a non-rare Ronaldo. That's a pretty nice pull. So moving on to the next one, and we have Diaz. Yeah, we can bring him into the side. Uh, next one is Matip, a very nice Bundesliga uh, centre-back. Then we have uh, Katranis, who is uh, from Greece. Yeah, that's not a bad pack, actually. Pretty nice. Welcome back, lads, and uh, two pretty okay-ish packs. Not the greatest, but we have a few players that we can actually bring into the sides. But moving over to the teams, and what have we built? Look at this. This is our German side. We are one player away from bringing in a German legend. And this just, this squad looks pretty nice. But can we count it as we have got players out of position? I don't know. Let me know in the comment section your thoughts on that. Because I know a few people are saying, put Draxler as the centre forward. He, he can play there, so you might as well drop him in there. So yeah. What do you think about it? Let me know in the comment section if you uh, if you think we can actually get away with playing uh, Schürrle as a right wing. I think we can. But let's move on to the next squad. So this is our Italian team, guys. It is looking a little bit bare, but uh, not as bare as uh, a few of the other squads that we've got. But we've got Gilardino, uh, we've got uh, Balatelli, Montalivo, De Rossi, and Chiellini. Uh, that is all the um, Italian players, if I remember rightly. Let's go and have a search in the club if we've got any more. No, we don't. Uh, so we're a long way from completing that full squad. But let's move on. To the next one. So this one here, lads, is our Croatia team. We have um, Eduardo and Jelovic uh, leading the attack. Uh, we've, oh, we've got a bit of a core Luca there. He's got some pace issues, but he has actually got, I think it's a team of the season or an informed version. I could be completely wrong with that, so we may be able to pack him again and uh, upgrade it. But yeah, that is uh, sort of looking uh, like the Italian squad um, with the amount of players, but yeah, we've got some building to do with that one. Moving on to the next one. So as you can probably tell, this one is the Argentina side. Messi we actually managed to pack Messi. I'm not sure how uh, frequent you can pack the guy. I don't know how often they put him in packs. But if we can get him again, then we can start upgrading to his inform, second inform, third inform, and whatever else informs that he's actually got. Bazel Baletta and also Gadai there in the defense. Uh, again, we are looking for a few more. Let's go and have a look just in case a few are actually hiding into the... Nah, they're not hiding. Oh dear, let's move on to the next one. England, this is our England side, and uh, as you can tell, we have a few more spots to go, but we've got Ashley Cole, we have Cahill, Johnson, and Oxlade Chamberlain, but we have a potential to build a very, very nice team. You've got the likes of a team of season, Gerrard, Sterling, which I packed yesterday, Sturridge, so many really nice players in the England side, so maybe, fingers crossed, we'll be able to pack a few of them, but yeah, let's move on. So this one is our French side, and as you can tell, we have uh, Benzema, Ribéry, Valbuena, Abidal, and uh, Remy uh, on the bench. I decided to pick uh, Benzema over Remy because he is a much better player uh, but also if we get this built up we've got two legends to choose from Desai or Patrick Vieira so that is nice to know. Uh, yeah, let's move on to the next one. Moving on to the Spanish side. And this is actually taking uh, some nice shape, you know. Negredo, Navas, uh, Fabregas, Sergio Biscuits, <laughs> and uh, Arbeloa. Uh, we are looking for a few more, but you know, you never know. Uh, we could maybe hybrid this up uh, when we are just playing the games. And uh, there are a few nice plays in there, especially in Negredo. I really do enjoy playing with him. So yeah, not a bad Spanish side, but we've got a few more to go. Let's move on to the next one. Portugal. 
Where's Ronaldo? Yeah, we haven't packed Ronaldo yet, but uh, it is a newly packed Varela, which uh, in my opinion is the uh, cheat version of Ronaldo. But we have Helga Bostiga, who I'm actually yet to use. I said I wanted to try him out, so maybe in the next episode we will give him a go. We've also got uh, Montinho, uh, Jao Montinho there, and obviously Varela. So uh, that is looking <laughs> ridiculously bare. We are needing uh, a few more players in there. So yeah, let's move on. The Ivory Coast squad. Now, this one is looking quite nice. We have the Inform Copper, who was Babacar Barry, which we did actually pack twice. We have Ungua. Uh, I think that's how you pronounce it from the uh, Ligue 1. Uh, Tiote and Torre, very, very nice midfield. And uh, Drogba and Boni up front. So that's taking really nice shape. We've also got Kalu and Sede Adie, or, or I don't know how. Someone said, you, uh, someone said how to pronounce it, but I'm not sure. Um, but yeah, we're needing just a few more players. And then we... We will be able to, well, we won't be able to bring um, a legend because there are no Ivory Coast legends. But maybe once we complete this full team, we can bring in maybe a, a nice informed player from uh, that nation. So, yeah, let me know your let me know your thoughts on that. So, if we can't actually bring in a legend, we can bring in a sort of a really nice informed player. But, yeah, anyway, let's move on. And this is our Brazilian side. And I thought to myself, as the World Cup is being held in Brazil, I thought they would put a few more in packs. But... This is all we've got. Willian, we have uh, Hernanes and Marcelo. Although it's looking nice over that left side. We need in some more players. So maybe, fingers crossed, we can get some. And then bringing in maybe Romario. Pele, if we can afford him. Can we afford Pele? If, oof, I don't know. It's a big push. But yeah. Moving on to the next one. So this one obviously is our Colombian side and it reminds me a little bit like uh, the Ivory Coast um, with how many players we have actually packed. Uh, Falcao, Baca, Ramirez, uh, Sanchez, um, very, very nice player in Rodriguez, Pereira and Ospina and also Gutierrez uh, as that striker who's got a decent heading ability. Uh, we've tried him out but he's a little bit sluggish on the ball. But anyway, um, I think we're going to leave it like that. We have a few more teams but we really just don't have any players to show. So what I'm going to ask you is uh, another question I know I'm going to... I'm throwing questions in today's episode, but uh, should I do this like once a week just to catch up uh, as to what players we actually have brought into the side? I think that would be a, a good idea. What I'm going to do is move into the uh, a, a game today. This is only going to be one game in today's episode as this has probably dragged the, uh, the episode out, but yeah. Let's move into that game with the team that I showed you at the start of this episode. Let's go. So yeah, that is the team, lads. And we are actually in Division 6. We were promoted in the last episode. We haven't got any points at all. So we're looking to get our first win in this division. Uh, let's have a look who we come up against. We came up... Uh, M Doggy 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 Doggy. Uh, I don't know where he got that name from. He wants to use his yellow kit. Let's have a look what team he is rolling with today. Uh, I'm thinking, yeah, I was thinking high chemistry, uh, he's got sort of an average side actually, Liga BBVA, uh, I mean, he's got De Costa, he's, he's got a few nice players in there, they're all op overpowered players, you know, ah, what, right, so he obviously didn't want to play me because he saw my team straight away and just rage quit, but we find ourselves coming up against this guy, he doesn't even want to ready up, let's go, come on, Amsterdam Arena, let's see what team he's got, hopefully he doesn't rage quit straight away, he's got 80 overall, so another sort of, I was going to say another average side but he's got Sturridge, Eto, and Nasri leading his attack. Sturridge, I find to be a little bit clunky, you know. I don't really get on with Sturridge. Uh, I, I, it's just not my uh, sort of player. But anyway, that's a solid side down. Let's go. Oh, 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 oh my God. It's route one, lads. Seven minutes in. He's already got a goal. Wow. Nice. Beautiful blink up play. Islam. Kenlan finish it with a weaker foot. Cross goal. And he's got his second goal of the season. And someone did actually say that they wanted to see the stats of every every player in the squad. So what I will do maybe in the next episode is start off uh, like that. Uh, not to bore you, but just to show you how the actual players are playing in, in this club. Yeah, that was a good goal. Nice one. Nice play. Go on, Fabregas. Get your head up. Get, make a run. Make a run, Benzema. Make a run. I had to delay it for him to make a run. Beautiful control by Benzema, but it's worked. 22 minutes in. 2-1. Let's have it. Nice. Get it out. Get it out. Get it out. Get it out. No, 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 no. I got it. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. These headers. These headers. I'll tell you what. What the f... Oh, Messi. Play it around. Oh, that's a great boy. If his goalkeeper doesn't run out now. Just finesse it. Finesse it. Oh, oh I got the rebound, though. 3-2. We've made it 30 minutes in. This is a tense game, you know. He's going full attack. But the thing is, he's getting really lucky with some deflections. Then he's pacing it down the line and just whipping the ball in. So that's dangerous. We need to defend against that. But yeah, I think it was a Vidal. Vidal? Or I don't know who it was. Good guy. My pets. Oh, I can see a run from Messi. Messi is through now. He's been completely sold with that. If we can just cut that inside. Beautiful step inside. Oh! 
Oh, Messi! Half time is here, lads, and it is 4-2. Um, he's a decent player, actually. He's not a bad player, but he's just a bit of a sweaty one. He keeps looking for that long through ball to then run down the line and cross it in. But if that's his tactic, fair play to him. But yeah, we are winning 4-2. Uh, decent goals, you know, not the greatest. I'm looking for some skill goals now. But yeah. Let's move into the second half. Win it, win it, win it, win it, win it. Oh, Vidal. He just let it. actually locked off me. It locked off me, so I couldn't really do much. But he's got the goal. 4 3, he's brought it back to. But uh, no, I'm not sure what happened there. He crossed it in, and around about then I locked off of it. So it was a decent volley, actually. Ah, uh, he's played him. He's played him. Fabregas. He's really good, Fabregas. I'm liking him more and more every single time I use him. He's got decent dribbling. Nice, we can still get that. Now ping it over the top there. Now play it through. Don't be silly. It's. I need a bit more space. Oh, no. Oh, that would have been awesome. That would have actually been awesome. I don't want to just cross, you know. But sometimes you just don't have a choice. Nice. Nice. That's Kadira. Oh, Kadira. Oh, Kadira. Oh, it was Kadira. Kadira's work. He was holding them both off, you know, with his strength. I think he's got like 85. I could be wrong. 85 strength in game. Decent dribbling from him, though. And uh, to set up for Dow, I know it was a shit goal, but still. Good, good stuff from him. What he's doing is he's doing this, basically. He's waiting for some guy to run, and then he just pings it like that. And that's what he's doing against me. And it is very, very hard to defend against. We are through here. I probably will just finish it off with Messi. That was a poor shot. That was so bad for Messi. But yeah, that's what he's doing, and he's getting through most of the time. Messi. Full time has come around. I thought we could go for a, another, well, one last attack. But yeah, 6-3, and that is a pretty good performance from the team. Messi, he actually missed that sitter. I don't know what he was doing there. But anyway, good performance. Let's see how many points we've got on the table. So we have three points in Division 6. And that is a very nice way to start off a new division with that win. A fresh start. And he was a decent player. I'm not going to lie. He was good. He was uh, causing me trouble. But uh, I think that our team was just so overpowered with the good players. And yeah, that's probably what made the difference. So yeah, let's go and open a pack. So another win under our belt in the new division. Division 6. We are doing very, very well indeed. So let's uh, award ourselves with this pack. Let's get this one open. And as we can see here, we have packed ourselves a Erazo. Razzle, uh, Musa Sissoko from Newcastle, decent player from France, uh, Yoshida, uh, and then next one we have Isla, a very, very good player, I think he's from the Syria, uh, yeah, that's a nice pull, and then we have Opari, or Opara, um, yeah, that's, uh, that's pretty good. Right, lads, so we did actually, in fact, pack ourselves a Musa Suzoko from Newcastle. We also got that Opara, that left back, or is it right back that's very, very far. So, not a bad pack. So, we will leave the next one to open in the, in the, well, the start of the next episode. But what I want you guys to do is let me know in the comments section what team we can actually start off tomorrow's episode with. Just maybe uh, maybe a BBV8 side or something that you want me to well, try and build. Just throw, throw us all the suggestions my way and we can get that done. Leave a like on the video. If we can actually start pushing for 500 likes, Lads, don't forget to leave a like. It really does show that you're still enjoying this series and, and for me to actually carry it on. So yeah, leave a like, subscribe if you're new around here and don't miss a daily video from me. And I'll see you guys tomorrow at 7 o'clock for a new episode. Thanks for watching.